Hey guys, and welcome to the Blender Agenda's 8 video tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be covering grass and hair on Blender. Now, on this, we're using Blender Blender 2.48, which is the newest version app. And you open up Blender, and you get your default cube as always. Go up to here, where it says SR2 model, and go down to scripting. And you'll notice this window. If you just scale it down to about there, you get more workspace. And from there, we can go down onto that, onto the axes. If we move this across a bit, and then onto particles. From here, there's all sorts of particle features. For this tutorial, we're not going to be using the default cube once again, so just delete it. And hit space. Add mesh plane for this. We'll just be doing grass in the first section of the tutorial. And add a new particle system to it. Add a little amount of normal and a bit of random. Maybe not that much. Because this controls the length and the randomness is just pretty much all the different directions that the particles will shoot out into. And from here you click onto hair and there we go you see grass coming along already then from here you can change the amount maybe put it onto 300 for le for more spaced out grass further apart or if it was really dense grass we'd put it onto say 2000 really thick grass there and then if you go onto the material tab add new we could just make it green for now so it looks like grass and there we have it really that's just a really easy way to make grass and you could just tinker with the settings really and have anything you want set smooth make the grass a lot smoother you could you could subsurf it if you wanted to make it look a lot clearer for a more professional photo. And there we go. Any questions and just send me a personal message on my YouTube channel and I'll make sure to answer them for you. Now, close. Just delete this now. Won't be needing this. And add a UV sphere. Cause this is when it starts to get interesting in Blender 2.48. Then from here, you're going to add another particle system. Add a bit normal and a bit random. Maybe, since it's hair, you don't want as much. So we'll say 400 for now. And onto hair. And it goes all over like that. Which we really don't want because you don't tend to have hair going all over your face and everywhere. So we're just going to tweak this a bit. By uh, going onto the weight paint, going across on this, and where it says vertex group, go on that that tab. Just remember where that is, and color where you want your hair to come out. So top of the hair generally is where you get your hair. Funnily enough, unless you have a beard, and then from there you can group it. So you go onto there, you'll see it's assigned to a new group. And we'll just go back, let's keep our group. And then on this tab, group it. And there we go. It's just coming out of there nicely. Then from there. And now, if you go down, you can go into particle mode. And then from here, go back onto your particle tab and set editable and you'll notice a little menu pop up and if this doesn't come up you can hit N to open this and comb yes you can do that so if you go from the side our little guy's hair we are combing it back and that is pretty cool give him a bit of a comb over or an emo sweep and really so many if you just 
get out of that and back into edit mode and we change it again oh we can't do it at the moment but it's really great just add hair experiment brush it back and for your characters you can the possibilities are endless really you can make any hair you want and remember if that ends this tutorial but remember if there's any tutorials you'd like to ask for please feel free to just message me on my youtube and i'll try and get that tutorial done for you so thanks everybody thanks for all the youtube support and goodbye for now